Alright, so today while I was out running, I uh, dropped my drive shaft. Here's the other half. Um, and I also noticed that I'm, my left wheel here uh, is just spinning. Uh, if I, you know, if I hold it and I hit the gas, like everything else will just turn. Um, so I'm going to try to take apart my uh, sh axle shaft there and see if maybe I can fix that. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, okay, so I've taken off the wheels. I'm going to next take the servo off uh, by taking out that one set screw. I'm not going to really mess with that much else. Um, and then I believe I've got to take these axle carriers off or tire wheel carriers off. Um, and then it should just dismount from these screws down there. So I'm going to do that and then bring the camera back. Okay, as you can see, I've taken the front links out. Um, that's what it leaves you with right there. I am going to change tactics. Originally, I thought I was just going to take the servo off and take the uh, bottom off. But it looks like I'm going to end up taking off the shock tower, the control arm. Um, it looks like it's just that screw and there's a little nut on the other side. So you're going to hold the nut while you take the screw out. All right. Pretty clear you can see that I've disconnected everything. Um, now I've just got to disconnect the servo mount and I uh, should have it out in a couple minutes. So I went ahead and took all of the mounts off and everything. Um, and I just took these screws out. There's four of them. Uh, they're pretty easy. So now I'm going to take it apart um, and see what's inside because I haven't even taken this apart yet. And. There it is. That's your trans or that's your uh, differential right there. I guess I'm gonna have to take that further apart in order to actually figure out what the problem is with it locking up. So looks like that drive shaft comes right out, and so does that one. Ooh, Let me quick, just draw your attention to all the dirt that came out with it. Might be part of it. Alright, looks like you take those four screws out and then you're into your differential. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, four screws removed. Time to see what kind of nastiness is inside. Just pop it off. That's weird. Nothing. No dirt. It's completely hollow. Not Oh, would you look at that? Big crack right there. I think that's probably why it's spinning out. I guess I gotta order a new one of whatever this is. Alright, well, I'm gonna order that and bring you back for the rebuild. I started this project a couple weeks ago of replacing the differential gear for my HSP. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, seems to be pretty easy. It came all as one piece, so pretty simple swap out. Just got to put new bearings on it. Right, that's what we'll do. Here's my old one, and I'm going to reuse these bearings. See, they're on either side. So I just got to figure out how to get them off, and the first one comes off pretty easy. And so does the one in the back. So now that is trash. Goes back together pretty simply. It's kind of dummy proof. You can see that shape matches that shape. I'm just going to slide it on in there. Check to make sure it works, which it does. Two drive shafts. And put them back together.
Once again, you got that kind of cut out, and it's going to fit right over top, just like that. All pops back together, and then comes the hard part, finding the screws that actually hold it together. Should be pretty easy if you can remember how. Which luckily for me, I'm able to look at the one that's not broken and see exactly how it goes back together. It's a good thing these are exactly mirror images of each other.
And now to put it all back together, you need these long screws with the nylock bolt or nuts on them. You're gonna grab a lower A arm and your shock tower, and you're gonna line it up in between those two knobs right there. Once you're lined up, you're going to take that bolt and run it completely through. Which requires being turned because it's all threaded. Advantage, disadvantage. If the nylock bolt ever fell off, you don't have to worry about your system coming all apart. However, when you need it to come apart, you have a lot more work ahead of you. But we're there, we got them all locked in. So, so far, so good. As soon as you start seeing the bolt come out of the plastic threading, is when you're going to want to put this washer or the nut back on. which is going to require a screwdriver at this point and a pair of pliers or needle nose vice grips I got needle nose vice grips, they're my favorite Alright, it's one end back together now. One more to do, which is your upper A arms or control arms. Now, none of that is threaded, so the only thing holding it on is going to be the little nylock bolt. Needle nose pliers time again. Do your best to get as much grip in it as you can. It's going to be a little hard because the uh, angle on the A arm is going to push away your pliers. But just kind of get it nice and tight, a little bit more than you would on the nor on on these. Just because all that's holding it on is this nylock bolt and nut.
Alright, now that that's done, it's time to reattach the servo.